All right, guys, as you can see, I got a pretty darn powerful um, air blast on here. Uh, it really is quite lovely, I, I have to say. This thing right here is adjustable, so I can loosen this and adjust it up and down, or it's loose enough right now that you can just do it. And then this can slide in and out, so it can accommodate different size uh, bits down here. And then I have it just running through my um, drag line down here, and then around back over here, and then up over here, this is a uh, valve right here. This is a needle valve, which is a flow regulation valve. So I can control how much air is coming out of it. And then it pipes out down and around and up and out over here. And then, and then I have it connected to this air compressor right now, which I'm not going to keep. I don't plan to keep that on there. I plan to get, because um, I've already lost all, most of the air on there. Also, that one's broken, and it's only going up to like 50 PSI. Um, I have another broken one, but so I essentially only have two broken uh, air compressors, so I need something that, um, well, is not broken. Also, these are really loud and use a lot of energy, so I want to get like a lower pressure one that's a lot quieter. They have them that go up to like 30 to 40 PSI, which should be more than enough to pump a lot of air through this. So that's my plan. Uh, hopefully, I'm planning on maybe doing that with some of the money I get from a stimulus check. I mean, not buying a crazy expensive one, but buying one for like 40 bucks or something like that. That'll hook. I'll hook up to this and make it a little quieter. But for now, I can start cutting. So, you know, today's video was the last of all the auxiliary, or yesterday's video video was like how I was saying I've finished up all the background auxiliary stuff. Well, now I've actually completed it. I was working on it last night, completed it today. So um, tomorrow I'm going to come in here and uh, start, well, I, I got to do some CAD and some and stuff, but hopefully I'll start making some wood chips tomorrow, uh, making some fixturing for the vise. If not, then, you know, hopefully the day after that. But I'm going to start working on that maybe today, doing some of the CAD and CAM. But if not today, then uh, I'll work on it tomorrow. And we should be making chips, big chips, soon. Um, I'm going to make take all that aluminum right there. Well, those two big pieces of aluminum back there and make a uh, fixture plate for this thing. And then some vices that go on that. And then this thing is going to be so badass. And then after that, I have one little project uh, that I'm doing to make some money. And then I'm building an Iron Man suit. It's coming very soon. Very soon. Also, this machine is starting to look really badass. It's looking good. Excited. You guys are great. Bye. One thing I wanted to say about this that I forgot to say is this is a piece of Delrin and I think the straightness of this is causing laminar flow to happen on this which means that air is staying in a very directional way and while you're able to see it put a dent on my finger like all the way over here. Um, so I think that laminar flow, which is a very good thing, um, it keeps the air traveling together and will let it go a lot further before it dissipates and moves away if it wasn't moving with laminar flow. I mean, I don't have a way of testing that. That's just my guess, but it's kind of what it feels like to me. And the fact that it's coming down a very straight, very clean, very low friction surface all the way through is probably what's allowing that to happen.